Alright guys, uh, welcome back to another video. This video we're going to be going over uh, how to uninstall and reverse reinstall uh, taillights on the 94 to 98 Mustangs. Um, before we get started, I want to try something a little bit different. Uh, I want to give a shout out to two other channels that are, uh, that while they feature a lot of content, right now they are featuring uh, some SN95 content. Um, both of these guys are great guys, great content. So I just wanted to give a shout out to those guys, have you guys check out their channels. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw a picture of their channel below. Uh, first one is going to be Darren Lynch. He is active on the Facebook groups. This guy has helped me out tremendously uh, with giving me suggestions on making my channel better. Um, while you guys may not think my channel is very flashy, it more comes down to time. Um, I do work full time. I just kind of do this on the side as I'm working on stuff just to document a little bit of SN95 build stuff for you guys because there isn't a lot of SN95 content out there. But Darren uh, also has a, I want to say his is a 95 Kenny Bell blown uh, 5 liter Mustang. Um, his channel is Grand Touring Concepts. Uh, he features a myriad of different uh, automotive things, uh, weird little projects that him and his buddies or, or channel partners are working on. Uh, but he does have a great series going on right now with some great SN95 content. Um, great stuff for you guys to learn a lot of the common questions that come up on the Facebook group. So definitely check out Darren. Uh, you will learn quite a bit taking a look at his channel. Um, another one is Streetcar Shenanigans. Uh, Nick, uh, I can't remember Nick's last name at the moment, but he is also active on the Facebook groups. He has his own group, Streetcar Shenanigans, which I'm sure you can pretty much figure out what it has to do with. Uh, just random crazy shit with builds and racing and just anything you can think of in between uh, right now he's got something going on with a uh, lightning on his channel he is building an SN95 I think he's got a 363 dart build um, and a, a tubed out front end that he's doing on it um, so again check out his channel he's got great content just kind of showing off uh, one of the builds that he happens to be doing right now in the SN95 content um, so again guys thank you for the support again I am not uh, popular on YouTube by any means, but I think we're up to 250 subscribers, which is great. I thank you guys. I'm going to keep on doing the videos. You guys have reached out to me. Tell me how much you guys like them. Uh, so I'm going to keep them going. Uh, maybe one day we will get a thousand subscribers, multiple thousand subscribers. Um, while that would be great, that's not what's important to me. What's important to me is that you guys like the videos, you value the videos. Uh, get some kind of enjoyment whether it's making fun of me or whatever the case may be if you guys still want to see them and you guys are going to watch them I'll keep on uh, I'll keep on making them so uh, remember to slap the thumbs up button like subscribe pass it on to your friends if you guys have any suggestions or requests for new videos let me know I will try my best to try and uh, get a video uh, if you're looking for something specific if I happen to have that on my list of things to do or if you guys want some in-car footage I'm gonna try and get some in-car footage once the weather warms up and I'll try and get a little bit of racing action in there if we can uh, if I can also try and do some uh, reviews on other people's cars some guys that I hang out with I uh, will try and give you guys a little bit of a flavor of something else other than SN95 content if you like it. Uh, so again, guys, thank you so much for the support. Uh, check out uh, Nick and Darren's channels, and uh, we really appreciate it. Now on to the video. What's up, homeboys? Uh, sorry I had to give you that uh, uh, nice wheel shot there. Some of you guys might get offended. Uh, today we are going to install the uh, new taillights that I got uh, for any guys that don't know my taillights are fairly clean um, I refinished them the problem you guys are gonna find with these old taillights is when you go to polish them um, when you go to polish the lenses the paint comes up um, then when you try and tape those things up to respray them they're just a royal bitch to get in all the crevices um, so if you guys ever really look at my lights really close and see if we can get a light in here uh, I'm gonna make sure you guys can see how bad my lights are 
I don't know where the fuck my headlight is. I just had it a minute ago. Uh, here, I'll use this one. I just had that thing on my head a minute ago. All right, so you're gonna see down in the corners, um, you're gonna see a, probably a little bit of buffing compound, a little bit of flaking of the uh, paint. Uh, you see where it was a bitch to get into those crevices. Um, they're not perfect. Again, you know, people aren't staring at my tail lights all the time. You'll see right in there uh, with the paint flaked up a little bit. You know, are guys sitting here looking at my tail lights like that? No. But uh, if you're cleaning your car, you see this shit. And every time I see this shit, this is the big one right there. There was a run spot right there. And the corners are not perfect. So, again, uh, if you guys have not realized about me, I am super fucking picky. I got a lot of money and time into this car. It's just certain stuff I am not good at. I'm not a painter, so I'm not going to tell you I'm a good painter. Um, there's a lot of people that aren't good painters, and they try and paint these taillights, and they fuck them things up worse than what they were. So... Uh, what I wanted was a pair of unfucked taillights. Now you guys say, what are unfucked taillights? Well, there's a taillights that somebody didn't already try and fix, like I did with mine. And, you know, potentially make them not as nice. Um, so I did get a clean set, um, I guess I showed you in the last part. Did get a clean set of 94 taillights uh, from a guy that had a low mileage uh, car. It's been sitting around for a while. I took them off years ago and they've just been sitting in storage. So you hooked me up with a pretty good uh, deal on those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get them unboxed again. I'll show you guys footage of getting the old tail lights out so you guys know how to take them out in case you ever want to replace yours. And uh, we'll be back in a few. Alright, so if you guys have never taken out your tail lights before, um, I don't remember how much I'm going to have to take out here because I do have my meth uh, stuff right in here. But you have two pop pins. Uh, actually, you'll probably have four. I don't have four anymore. Um, you know, of course, old shit happens. So I got two pop pins to pop this piece off. Then you're going to have a twist pin there uh, to take this side off. And I think that is actually all that's it. And then the meth has bolted in there. So we're just going to pull this back a little bit. Uh, on each side, so I don't have to unbolt the meth tank and see if we can slide the tail lights out that way. Um, I did not really think about that when I mounted this, uh, but we'll see if we can work around it. Um, yours may have another clip right there, possibly. Let's see. This side doesn't have it, so I don't know what that. Oh, you know what? That's probably for the uh, uh, fuel pump cut off there. Uh, so we'll get these off real quick and we'll come back in a few. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we're going to try and get off the first pin. And we'll see if we can put this light here so you guys can see. So uh, I have my nifty panel popper. And even with this, I find that these things still break because they're old and brittle. Um, so don't freak out if you break them. You can always get new ones. Um, Pet Boys has pretty universal ones. All right, so that is going to get in the way of that. So I'm not going to be able to fully get that off. Um, again, you have this twist pin here. So you just twist that off. And essentially you should be able to peel back these panels enough to get these out. So you're going to have, uh, I think it's three 10 millimeters. Or maybe those are 12s. So you got one, two, and there's another... Actually, two that are tucked back there, one and two. So I am going to, I'm actually going to pull this uh, floor panel out here. I had this in here to hide, hide the uh, the meth wiring and all that, but sometimes this stuff's got to come out to work on the car. So uh, I can't do that with uh, this on my hand. So I got the original carpet that I notched out for my meth. Um, that was before I started making videos. Uh, just threw some plywood, very thin plywood down here. And since nobody's ever really seen my meth setup, um, very simple setup. I just have the pump here. 
Um, the canister for the meth, it's grounded. Got wires going up uh, to the fuse box and then have the uh, main line going out through the trunk there. Uh, you can tell it's been a while since I've done this. So, I'm gonna get the 11 mil in here. It's a little tough to do with a socket if you can't get these panels all the way off. Might be able to get them started though. started with the, and just do the rest with the fingers one and two is coming Two. I'll try and let you guys see in here. We got three. And again, normally you guys would take off this whole rear panel, but I'm not going to dismount my meth just for the taillights. So we got three. And it should be four. So you guys can see the fuel pump cutoff switch, uh, the emergency cutoff switch that I was talking about there. That's why there's a hole in that side. All right, four. So now if I remember correctly, pop out, yeah, pop out the taillight harness. And basically just push on the back of the screws, or the back of the bolts, to push the taillight out. And since we unplugged the harness, it should come right out. Um, I'm going to have there is a uh, waterproof seal. Just kind of have to pop that out. And that is the harness. So we have headlight or uh, taillight number one out. And we're going to go for taillight number two. Again, we're going to get the screw pin. Uh, if you can see that metal seal, or not metal seal, uh, rubber seal. So this is where these things come in handy. You can kind of pry in there a little bit. And pry these things out. Again, trying to do this with one hand is tough. Uh, without scratching my bumper up. But this bumper's fucked anyway. Uh, so I will stop the video. We'll be back in a minute after I pry this out. See, the old taillights are out. And we're going to get the new tail lights out of the packaging and get the harnesses transferred over. So if you guys have seen before, these things are super, super clean. Uh, just need a little bit of a wiping up. All right, so we're just going to transfer the harnesses over, and what the fuck? Looks like he took off the mounting pins. So i got to figure out how to fucking take these things off. All right, we're going to be back. This one's going to take a little bit for me to figure out how to get these off. Um, I didn't realize he took those off of the old taillights. All right, uh, what I'm going to do to get these out, I'm going to try and double nut the uh, bolts that hold them in. So if you guys have never seen a double knot, you do one upside down, and basically you want to jam that one in. Let me go grab a wrench. 
So I'm not sure how well this is going to work on these without splitting the plastic. Again, these are all great things to know before you get involved in something like this. Alright, and pardon me, I don't have a workbench in here. The workbench is out in the shed, so it makes my life a little bit more difficult at times. Alright, I'm going to get that nice and tight, and that fucker doesn't look like it's moving. All right, there we go. Fun stuff, guys. This is how you have to uh, improvise sometimes with old used shit. All right, so we're gonna pop that nut. And all right, good. Not too chewed up. All right, so we're going to go through and do this for, Jesus Christ, four of them on each tail light. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, I'll stop the video. We'll come back once I am done. All right, all the studs are out of the old tail lights and in a second we can get started on studding the new tail lights ah, this is just monotonous shit that nobody really plans on having to do with their day let's get some tools out of my pockets that's how I lose shit So, let's stud headlight number one. And once these are in, uh, we'll uh, clean these off a little bit. Now that I see them under the light, the uh, lenses are a little hazy, but I can just do a quick uh, hand polish on those. It's not a huge deal. Let's see how good the restudding process works. So we're just going to start these by hand, as long as they will cooperate by hand, which seems like they will. And then we will snug them with the uh, double nut set up like we did to take them off. All right, so these are about as snug as I'm going to get them by hand. Basically, you just reverse the order. Uh, you want to tighten them together, and then you just want to clamp down until you get that to fully seat. That's all it takes, guys. Just a couple extra turns, and you're done. As we're back, uh, I just cleaned up the taillight wells as best as I could. Um, now what we want to do is get the harnesses off of these things. Uh, so basically all you want to do is twist these till they come out. Sorry for the hesitation, I was trying to think which bulb was out. Because I do know that I have a bulb out. So this is the passenger side. So this one does have the backup bulb out. Alright. So think about this one for a second. Passenger side, there we go. And 
backup bulb is this one. So yeah, there's no filament in there anymore. So this is trash. Uh, I know I got new bulbs yesterday. Oh my, a mess of shit here. There we go. We're gonna put two fresh new bulbs in here just cause. I'm pretty sure the other one worked, but just for good measure. And put both in. So again, you got your rubber grommet that goes through the tailgate cup. And you got to yank on these pretty good to get these to come through. Line up your pins. All right, pins lined up. Pull the rubber through. Good. So, you guys probably won't be able to see this again, but I'll get these nuts started so the tail light doesn't pop out when I'm working on it. see that that rubber grommet just popped into place. And you guys can see the bolts. You got one, two where my right hand is, three down by my left hand, and there's a fourth one that's tucked all the way down there. All right, guys, you can see the tails are in. Nice, tight fit. Uh, only a couple little chips, uh, but still light years better than my other ones. Uh, we will get my plywood base in here. And you can see how I notched around the pump and the uh, meth can. And I did the same with the carpet. Again, nothing fancy, but it looks pretty clean when everything is together. All right, so you can see she is back together. Throw my quarter oil in the back. Uh, keep that there just in case, you know, she is an old girl. Uh, we have my uh, boot cover for the convertible top, which if you guys have never seen these things, I, I don't know, I guess some people lost them or they got ripped up or what the deal is, but I have one, mine's in mint condition. I use it all the time. All right. So she is pretty much buttoned up. Uh, to you guys, it probably doesn't look any different, but to me, I know it's different. Matter of fact, we will take one off the list and add another one. So, passenger side corner light now. Corner. All right, so new circuit for accessories we gotta do, move my meth indicator lights. Move the wide band to the vent pod that I have coming in. That's probably gonna be the next one. Place corner light now. So we got ball joints we gotta do. They don't need to be done, but they should be done. Tighten the e-brake I still gotta do. I gotta do the oil before I get it out. Uh, replace the top, that's gonna be in a couple weeks. Uh, pulley is gonna be the next one to do. We got a new supercharger pulley. Uh, learn how to fucking cook. Uh, that's for my wife, of course. And then we got the 2018 gap list. Uh, we got some guys on the Burke Street car page to bust my balls a little bit. 
Uh, so we fuck around with them. This guy's got a Hemi power charger that's a pile of shit. This guy's got a new edge that's got nitrous. Nothing crazy. This guy's got an S550 that's got a VMP stage 2 and makes like 650 to the wheels. Um, I shouldn't have any chance of beating him, but I'm going to gap the fucking shit out of that guy because he's like 19 and doesn't know how to drive. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to get some footage on that as soon as we get the car on the road. Uh, but that's what's coming up next. So the next, um, next video you're probably going to see is changing the pulley. And then uh, probably the vent pods is going to be the next one. I think those are coming in this week. So uh, we'll see you guys later. Thumbs up the video, like, subscribe, pass it on, and uh, we'll keep on doing it. So I'll see you guys next time.